Hello. I'm waiting. I'm going to invite some friends. Today is Tip Top Tuesday. And it is June 19th. The topic for discussion today is compassion. My outrage at what's going on with the children is in, in the United States uh, and those children in cages, when, we don't, when we're getting away from that with the animals in the zoo, is just amazing to me that we in the United States are doing that. Not only keeping, putting, locking people up, but putting them, separating families. We didn't even do that with the Japanese. So, what can we do to help our leaders understand the heart connection that parents have with their children? What can we do as a nation to join together to allow these children to be treated as human beings? I've been struggling with that today, and I think for me, the big thing is love. I'm wondering if there's in DC so much that they really don't understand how important it is to have relationships with your kids. But I doubt if that's it. They're all caught up. I was reminded um, with this, you know, the Democrats are self-righteous and they want this and the Republicans want this and they're self-righteous. Well, we're dealing with people here. <laughs> there is no room for self-righteousness. The only thing we have room for is love and compassion for everyone. By you saying, like, there's a moral reason for this is poppycock. You know, there have been tests and studies forever about um, separating children from their parents, especially nurturing parents, and how that will affect their development the rest of their lives. And from a dollars and cents point of view, it doesn't really make sense because those children are going to need a lot of therapy and some lawyer is going to sue the United States government and, get, and they're going to make billions of dollars uh, on this. Is that really what we want? Hi, Larry. That's funny. You usually don't come. I'm talking about what's going on with the children, not only in Texas, but in SeaTac. And I think it's really important for us to remind ourselves that we are not just a brain, that we are a heart. So my... I'm, I'm emotional about this, but I'm very heartful. I think it's really important for us to stay in our hearts, not make this an intellectual thing. This is not two lawyers with the plaintiff and the defensive, all right? These are people, and we are people. And many of us know people that have suffered from this. Um, because they, we, we all know people that maybe don't have their papers here and there. We've met them in our lives. That, so that, that's the face. Would you really want these people not to be with their children? I, I'm real emotional about this, and it's okay because it's very sad. It's very sad, and we should all be crying about this. This is absolutely so upsetting. 
And we are so upset about it. We don't even know what the fuck to do. Like, how can this be happening? These children are in cages. It's just mind boggling, mind boggling. The good news is there is outrage. Churches are speaking out. People are speaking out. And I'm encouraging you to speak out. And this is my little tip. You know how they have the Red Hat Society or whatever? How about the Pink Hat Society for Love? How about if we start thinking about wearing pink hats for love? What about that? Anyway... I'm emotional. I love being emotional because emotion is part of who I am. So that's it. Namaste. May we each join together to solve this problem and allow our leaders to recognize that in their hearts, this is a heart job, not a head job. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.